Okay, so today I want to showcase Maeve Shadow Song, and she's probably one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive unbound unit in the game. So she costs 6 gold just to play, but because of her leader ability, Master Assassin, her cost is actually reduced by 1 for each unbound troop that I play as well. So she has pretty decent stats, but what I really like about her is that she has an AoE fan of knives or something like that, if I remember that it was, that's what it's called. So take a look at this, right? She will fan of knives at the start and then she will start cleaving with her attacks, which makes her very powerful. So she can actually get pretty insane. And the place that I like to use her at is actually PvP. So you notice that I have quite a few of the unbound troops on this lineup. So I have four in total. I have the safe pilot, and I have two of the skeletons, and I also have the quill ball, who is also pretty decent as well. So let's take a look at how this works in PvP. So as you can see, I actually pushed 1000 plus points using just her alone. And you will understand why she is so useful in PvP. Alright, number one, let's go. The real deal. Okay, so this is the reason why she is so good. I'm just gonna let him uh, do his thing just to like, you know, size him up a little bit, see what he's up to. He's waiting. Okay, so he summoned stuff to go for my tower, which is not a problem. We are just gonna go straight for his tower. <laughs> like so. And let's see, maybe throw over there. And what you notice is that Maif, right? Her cost is going down quite a fair bit. Right? Her cost is going down quite a fair bit, she now only costs 3. Which means that we have a significant advantage if we try this again, right? If we try to attack her again. So let's get a Huntress there. Or not, rip. I think we should be fine, the Huntress shouldn't be able to do too much. I think. Just, you know, keep my Spearman away from the tower so that she don't bounce. And that should be okay. So what we're going to do is, he, he seems to have pretty decent pushing power as well, he got rid of my first tower, which is a problem. But I'm just going to redo the same strategy here. So I'm going to do this, and then throw her for the cost of just one, which is insane, and throw the safe uh, archer here. And I think we got it, right, we got it, we got it. There is no way that she can out-DPS me. We definitely have this. Nice! <laughs> so this is like the strategy of using my Shadow Song in PvP, so you just want to like go backstabbing all the time. Which is really good, this is awesome, this is like the perfect assassin strategy. Koala Burr. Alright, let's see what he's up to. So he's using the, the spell, elemental, elemental damage, right? Okay, okay, oh no, oh no. Gonna have to do that. Kinda expensive, but okay. Okay, so she has a lot of AoE damage, I think. Right, because she's doing elemental damage here. So she's gonna rush my tower. A, uh, I might need to change my strategy a little bit, but you know what? Let's just ru oh my god, let's just rush. Yeah, let's do it like that. Nice, we got rid of all the <laughs> we got rid of all the birds just like that, and we win. <laughs> just like that. Next up against box. Oh, this guy. I think he does like pretty decent sustained DPS, right? Oh my god, he's rushing. Okay, I have to use my range troop here just to lower him a little bit faster. Uh, just to be a little bit safer as well. So we are, we are just charging up our bar here. You know what, let's just throw out our, our griffin. So now we have more options to to squander at once, right? So he's gonna rush me thinking that he has the, up, the, the, the upper hand, but in actual fact, he does not. <laughs> in actual fact, he does not. Alright, I think that's about it, GG. There is no way that he's coming back from this because he squandered the rest of his gold on... He should have used that earlier on, right? <laughs> he should have used the blizzard earlier on, but that's way too late, bro. I actually do feel like it's gonna be extremely easy to acquire like 2,000 points <laughs> using this very, very cheesy strategy. So what I really like about this is it's also the fastest way for you to complete your daily quest requirements, right? Oh my goodness, okay, so she has like the... what? The... Uh, freezing attacks, right? I, I believe she has freezing attacks. But you know what? Let's just... Surprise, surprise! Okay, I don't have anything else to add on to that. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna do a little bit of damage there. It's fine, it's fine, it's like whatever. Okay. Kill it, nice. And bait it, very good. And that's about it. Right, we got it, we got it. Okay, Huntress in the house. Okay, let's do that. And like that. Okay, we got her out of the way, which is okay. We don't have to worry too much about the assassins. 
I think that's fine. So now we're just going to go back into our business and charge up for 10, right? Just charge up for 10 gold coins and we should be okay. So we're just going to throw in the heavy equipment like so. Like so. Like so. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This time around we are kind of screwed. We are kind of screwed. Yeah, rip, rip. We, did, we, didn't, we didn't succeed. We didn't succeed. Oh no, and now we're gonna suffer. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh wow, this sucks actually. He, he knows our strategy right now, which is a problem, right? But he's still just charging us, which is... I find it very odd. Can we one-shot her? I wonder. She's gonna hit us first, right? Oh my god, she, she got the one-shot on us. Okay, like so. Let's bait. Yeah, bait her attacks. Oh my god, never mind. I think we still have this. It's not a problem. So what I'm gonna do is... Okay, the Huntress is out of the way, which is perfect. It was just a Huntress that I was worried about. We should have this. I think that's it. Yep, GG! Easy peasy. <laughs> okay, let's just do our last one right here. We got the... the he's also kind of... Kind of like a pusher, right? He moves super fast. Okay, 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 chill. Chill out, chill out. Chill out, little chickens. Oh my god, now my chickens... <laughs> my troll is gonna get attacked. Oh my god, I suck. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, it's... Okay, you know what? Forget it, I'm just gonna rush. Boss rush! <laughs> when in doubt, just boss rush. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the more he gets summoned... The, the faster he, he becomes, it's like he has an inbuilt frenzy. We might not be able to, to do this right now, right? But you know what? We just need to charge up 10 and then <laughs> we basically win. Because <laughs> there's no way that he can come back from this. His HP is way too low. I can just actually just throw this and I think that should settle it, right? So something like this. Let, let the, the, the quill ball bait a little bit and that's it. <laughs> it's just so simple, but anyway... That, that's what I just want to showcase for, for today. It's just running my Shadow Song on PvP where she strives a lot. And I'm not sure whether it's it for the fact that our towers are fortified, which is why it's a little bit easier for us to defend against like their approaches and all that without having to summon our own troops. That could be that could be the reason as well. Because if you take a look at this, right, we have fortifications today, which means all my towers, which is just that one tower there, have twice as much health. So this is definitely going to add on to my defensiveness without me needing to worry about defending my tower. I can just go full offense and I think that's like perfectly fine. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And as always, this has been Derry Free to Play and I will see you in the next video.